Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe and I make videos on my life as a law student and everything that goes with that. So today's video is something I've been meaning to film for a long long time. It's basically about how to write a first class legal essay and it's something that I've been working on throughout my first year and I think I've come up with a pretty foolproof way on how to get those top marks but it is hard work so don't be fooled. Today's video is in collaboration with a YouTuber who I actually think is amazing. She's a huge inspiration to me. Her name is Shannon. Go over to her channel and check out everything on there. She makes amazing videos on her life as a law student and she's collaborating with me and doing a types of law student video. So after you've learned how to write a first class exam, go over to her channel and find out which type of law student you are. Shannon studies law at the University of Bristol. Just go and subscribe to her. She's amazing. I'll link her channel below as well and all of her social. So this video is about how to get a first class mark on an essay. This can be to do with law mainly, but I think it would also help for other subjects and it will definitely help if you're looking at studying law. You're welcome. So first thing, I'm just going to explain how the grading system works in UK universities. 70 and above is a first class grade, which is what you want to be getting. Below that, 60 and above is a 2-1, 50 and above is a 2-2. To be fair, I'm not going to say it's easy to get top marks because it's not whatsoever. It is hard work, but once you know how to do it and you get in the routine of writing academically, then you're going to be successful, trust me. So I'm just going to go through my process, include some videos, and then afterwards I'm going to give you a few little tips at the end. The first thing that I like to do when I'm writing a legal essay is read the question. And I know you're probably thinking, well, yeah, obviously. And listen, I'm here, I know, I know, it's the most annoying thing, everyone says it, but do you actually read the question now? That is the question. Because I never used to. I just used to skim over it and be like, oh, it's on this area of law and not actually read what it's asking you. So I usually write the question out on a piece of paper, a piece of A4 paper in the center of the page. And then I just go through and highlight any words that are asking me to do something. So discuss how, why any words like that i'm also going to go through and highlight any cases that are mentioned because sometimes a question will give you a case it literally wants you to speak about that case in detail and it's going to be a substantial case as well and then once i've done this i'm gonna kind of sit back and think to myself okay so what is this question asking me to do what does it want me to talk about in the example that i've used in the footage this question was asking me to state the impact that this case had over a certain area of law so i knew i needed to speak about this case in length i knew i needed to speak about that area of law but i also knew i needed to take a standpoint did it have a good impact did it have a bad impact and explain why I felt this way and for me just sitting back and just being like okay that's what this question is asking me to do is vital because if you get that wrong there's no chance you are getting a good mark the next thing is to read over the topic as a whole so this essay question is going to be on one small part of the law that you have learned you don't just want to go in blind give yourself a little refresher listen to the lecture again read over your lecture notes now for me i make extensive lecture and seminar notes and if you don't then you should because because it's going to help you so we just read over them and then I like to make a mind map and this is super important because if your essay is on one topic this can form the basis of your argument this can form a skeleton but bear in mind do not write 
your whole essay from your lecture notes it is not enough whatsoever your tutors will hate it they'll be right onto it and you will get a low mark trust in me you need to do extra reading this is not enough so after i've done this i've kind of got the whole topic read out i know kind of what i'm meant to be talking about in the essay and i think okay i'm pretty much ready to start reading now now the first thing i like to do is to read case law read the big cases and do not please do not just go on lawteacher.net and read the the brief summary of the case you need to read the judgment what the judge decided why they decided this whether there was mixed opinions from the judges often law teacher or any other of these websites don't give you the full view and i know it's such hard work because cases are so long but please just read them what i like to do once i've done this is to just give a brief summary of the case any quotes that i think are important or anything that was said and then you've got all these cases there to be inputted into your essay so then after this it is everyone's favorite part finding journal articles so i go onto google scholar or westlaw and then i find journals relating to the topic anything that i find interesting i tend to just open up in a new tab and give it a brief skim over read the abstract if it sounds like it's going to be of benefit to anything that you're writing then i definitely just go okay well i'll keep this tab open so when i'm reading these journal articles i then pick out any quotes that i think are going to be of use to my argument i then in a word document write a brief summary of what the journal article was trying to convey and then my thoughts whether i agree whether i don't agree and why this why is super duper important why i agree why i disagree and doing this is bringing your opinion in so after i've read all these journal articles and all my summaries are there and all my thoughts are there i start to pin them against one another if one makes one point and the other makes the complete opposite point i'll then decide which one i agree with and why and then that's pretty much a paragraph so i think at this stage it is so important to not sit on the fence you are a law student you are expected to argue i think the worst thing to do is go this scholar thinks this and this scholar thinks this and nothing you need to say this scholar thinks this this scholar thinks this this one is right because of this that is literally the key the key is right there people so after you've done all of these lovely things now it's time to write the actual essay which i think is the fun bit at this point you've got a mind map in front of you all the relevant case law you have all the relevant journal articles and your thoughts on each all that's left to do now is structure it but for now i just have a few little tips the first tip rome wasn't built in a day please don't try and write this essay in one night it's not good for your brain and it's just going to send you into a massive panic the next thing is use a range of textbooks journal articles and cases all i can say about this is don't just use your lecture notes it's so not good enough and i think your tutors can spot it a mile off and they'll be so reluctant to give you a good mark if you only use the things that they've brought up in lectures the third point is do not reference the oxford legal dictionary if you need a definition of a particular area of law then find one in a textbook or from a journal don't reference the oxford legal dictionary it literally looks like you've typed into Go google what is the definition of negligence um and the final tip which i always find really helpful is if you get a choice of questions in coursework then choose the most controversial topic because this is going to be an area where so many different scholars have 
said different things and had different opinions and that's going to give you a really good basis of your argument so that's pretty much everything from me i really really do hope this helps in some way i hope you understand everything that i was trying to convey if you have any questions don't hesitate to pop them in the comments or if you need anything i am available 24 7 on all of my socials so thank you so much for watching bye